Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to extract some information from a text file. I've already created the text file on my uh, uh, desktop here and that there is my text file so it's got all that information in it here so we're going to extract some of that uh, information and print it out. So first of all we have to import regex in because we're going to be using regex. So I'm going to create a function here called extract. Uh, I'm going to say regex, meaning extract using regex. Okay. So we're going to create the path to our file because I've saved the text file on my desktop. You should do the same as well. But as you can see, I am typing me one second or else I'll forget um, I've forgotten already <laughs> users comes first okay so that is the path to my desktop it's not the path to your desktop so you will have to find your unique path to your desktop because if you simply type this in your program will not work and then it's going to be os.chdir so that's going to be path so we're going to change to that file path and you also need to import os up here or else this won't work right okay so we're going to tell the user what's happening so we're going to print it out to the user extracting data Okay, I'm going to actually import time into here as well because we're going to use the time module to make it look authentic like the program is working. So we're going to give it a time.sleep. We're going to give it a pause for one second. So that's time.sleep. And the pause here is going to be for one second. Right, then we're going to create something called file open so we're going to open a file we're going to open this file that we have I think my file is going to be called uh, names.txt is it names.txt let's have a look no it's not it's uh, info.txt it's uh, info txt so there we go and uh, I'm going to open it to read it so we need the R here so I'm going to open it for read it and then we're going to loop through it so for line in file so we're going to go through each line in the file and then we're going to use a conditional if and this is where we're going to use regedit, reg, reg, regex, not regedit, a <laughs> regex, re dot search. So we're searching for things in here. So I'm going to give that an R flag. And I'm going to search for anything in this text file that has two in it. Okay. And that's going to be in line so it's going to go through all those lines and if there's anything in two in it it's going to uh, grab it okay and then we're just going to simply print the line okay now all we have to do uh, if I read that search I print line else let's have a look now we'll just leave oh dear oh dear what have I done there made a mistake there I'm so so that's gonna be one two three four uh, we might just finish off with an else on here why not else print let's say 
nothing found. That's wrong. Nothing found. Okay, now all we have to do is call the program. It's called extract regx. So we're going to extract using regx. Let's just uh, save it. So we're looking for anything with twos in it. Let's run it. Extracting data. Ah, we've had a little bit of an error here. So let's uh, just sort that out. Oh, is it name.txt? Oh dear, it shouldn't be name.txt. It should be info.txt. I thought I put that in. Info.txt. Okay, let's run it again. There we go, extracting data. So we're extracting data with twos in it. So Bill has got a two in it, Paul's got a two in it, and then it's gone through every other line and it's found nothing. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to extract something, let's have a look, with capitals in. So I'm gonna do A to Z like that, Oi, wrong one, A to Z, let's see if we can extract anything with capitals in, Bill, Bill 17, okay, let's have a look if we can uh, extract anything with lower cases in, A to Z, Yeah, so we've extracted uh, all the lower cases here. All right, so there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you enjoyed that and I will catch you in another lesson. Bye-de-bye.